The world is made of a lot of things. That's part of what makes it so grand and special, but one thing that's almost everywhere is water. This thing is, this thing is probably mainly because our world is over 70% water thanks to the oceans that divide the continents that we live on. But while that does help make the world an interesting place, it also makes it very mysterious. To the extent that we honestly don't know everything that's going on in the oceans, especially with the creatures that live there. From the infamous Megalodon to the giant oarfish and more, here are 20 of the most mysterious and unexplained sea creatures. Number 20. Megalodon Now, let's all be honest with ourselves for a moment. The ocean is way deeper than you think it is. Trust me. In fact, there are some who will state that we still haven't reached the bottom of the ocean because of a new opening with a certain legendary trench that might go even deeper into the earth than first believed, but that's another story for a different time. The reason I bring up the depths of the ocean is the fact that they are so wide and deep that they can potentially hide whole multitudes of species from us on the surface that we'd never experience unless we go down there to see them. Which is why some think that an extinct shark is down there in the ocean depths, the legendary Megalodon. Now, trust me, a lot of people believe this. The Megalodon was a prehistoric shark that was massive in size. Some even believe that it was well over 60 feet long, while others say that it was 60 at maximum. But no matter what you think, what it absolutely was, was an apex predator. To the extent that the Megalodon was said to eat literal tons of food every single day, and just about anything and everything was on its menu. They're said to have died out for multiple reasons, not the least of which was an extinction event, but also they ran out of food and apparently began to eat each other. As for why people think that the Megalodon's still out there, well, it's honestly a case of why not to most. There have been fossils and findings and such that seem to indicate that a massive shark, that isn't the one we already know, is still roaming in the deep. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we got the movie The Meg. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Giant Oarfish now we'll talk about a creature that we absolutely do know is real, but that doesn't make it any less mysterious. I speak, of course, of the giant oarfish, a creature that at one time was believed to be a hoax. But why? Well, because it was so big and so scary looking that people felt that it couldn't have possibly come from the ocean. The irony of all that, though, is now very clear for everyone to see because there are way scarier creatures than the giant oarfish. One of the reasons for that fear, as noted, was its length. The giant oarfish is the longest bony fish out there, and its biggest length that we personally have recorded as humans is 26 feet. That's a rather impressive number. Oh, and it's also a very heavy creature at times because it's been known to reach weights of up to 600 pounds. So why is the creature so mysterious? Well, that would have to do with the fact that it lives at various depths of the deep, deep ocean, so we don't get to see it in its natural habitat all too often. As such, there are still a lot of mysterious things that surround this creature as a whole, to the extent that we don't even know how it washes up on the shores of beaches when it should remain at the deep depths when it dies. We also don't know just how many of them are, and thus, that can hurt with future conservation efforts should the giant oarfish need them, showing that being isolated from human observation at times can actually have serious drawbacks. Number 18. Immortal Jellyfish This next one may sound like a mythical creature, but I promise it's absolutely for real. Because in the world today, there are various creatures that have the ability to live incredibly long lives, and that includes apparently hundreds of years should they not be messed with. But one creature that's been found appears to have the ability to truly live forever in the natural sense, and that's the Immortal Jellyfish. Can I just pause here and ask, 
what did this jellyfish actually do to deserve such a superpower? Well, they sting, and they can kill things with that sting, but is that really the creature that deserves immortality? Well, if you're wondering if this is some kind of trick and it's faking immortality, it's honestly not. You see, the standard life cycle of a creature is that they're born and then either grow naturally like a mammal or go through a transformation stage. Think of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, also so that it can become mature. For the immortal jellyfish, however, it actually has the ability to regress from its stage of maturity into becoming a polyp, which is the previous life stage of the creature. Now, yes, it does actually reverse its life stage so that it can endure. What's more, it can do this at multiple points of life, which includes after mating or after it's been injured, or if it feels that it's starving. It can still die from being severely injured or eaten, but if left to its own devices, that's right, it's immortal. Number 17. The Giant Squid Moving on to creatures that are unique in a way beyond superpowers, we'll talk about the giant squid. This was another one that humanity really didn't get to interact with at first because of the depth of its living, so when it did appear on beaches, people were rightfully scared. Because these things are big, and they didn't look like anything we'd seen in the oceans before. They also helped re-inspire the legend of the Kraken, which is fake. Well, we hope. Giant squid live up to their name. The largest one ever recorded by scientists was almost 43 feet long and may have weighed nearly a ton. That's a big sea creature, and not something that you want to mess with. Lest you think that I've noticed something like this before, did you forget that the ocean's a big place? And while we've been exploring the oceans of the world for a long time, we don't know everything about them just yet. Nonetheless, the giant squid is a truly amazing creature, and one that scientists are constantly trying to study. For example, they have two eyes, a beak, eight arms, two feeding tentacles, and a funnel. That's right, they have beaks. It's how they eat. You just don't see them because of where they're located. Ooh. The reason that their tentacles are so large is that they can grab food that's far away, and sometimes those tentacles are twice the size of the giant squid's body itself. Should you fear this creature taking down your ship? Well, not really, but taking you down? Yeah, if you provoke it. Number 16. Gulper Eel Eels as a whole are creatures that we at least know some things about, including how some have an electric charge. Or is that an eel electric charge? <laughs> oh, and they can be quite deadly in their own right. But the gulper eel is a little more special than that, mainly because it has a very bizarre look that puts other eels to shame, or so I've been told. Its most notable attribute is its large mouth. This enormous mouth is so much larger than the eel's body, the mouth is loosely hinged and can be opened wide enough to swallow an animal much larger than itself, which is no doubt a terrifying thing to witness firsthand. And it also kind of reminds me of my pet guinea pig Twinkle. Her mouth is so big she can eat an entire green bean in one go. But wait, there's more! Because the food isn't just eaten yet, it's instead put into a pouch within the mouth of the eel where it'll then be processed over time. That's why the gulper eel got the nickname of the pelican eel, because it's honestly a bit of the same principle. Furthermore, the stomach of the eel actually stretches out so that it can accommodate whatever meal is being eaten. Other things that differentiate this eel from others is its fins, some of which are basically non-existent, and its incredibly small eyes. On that note, the eyes are said to have evolved to harness very small amounts of light and to look for that over identifying shapes. You can't help but wonder how something like this happens in terms of evolution, because this really is one weird looking eel. But to it, well, it's just trying to survive in an ocean that's full of other terrifying creatures, and likely it's trying to blend in. Number 15. The Frilled Shark one of the biggest wonders of the ocean is the very simple fact that a lot of people think that all the creatures that live in there are from recent times, but that's not true at all. 
There are certain creatures that are referred to as living fossils, and they're called that because they're able to survive from prehistoric times and sometimes through major extinction events in order to make it into today. One of the ones that fits that description is the frilled shark. One look at the frilled shark and you'll see just how different it is from the sharks that we know today. Instead of a rigid and stocky body that we're used to for sharks, the frilled shark has a body that more or less resembles an eel in how loose and bendy that it can be, and it also has gills that are quite different from the sharks of modern day. The frilled shark's mouth is equally terrifying. Believe it or not, it's lined with 25 rows of backward-facing trident-shaped teeth, which is 300 in all. Which, I'm no dentist, but I would say that that's more than enough to get the prey that it wants. Aside from how they've survived to today, the other big mystery about them is how they live, as we've only rarely encountered them in the wilds of the ocean, so there's no true number in regards as to how many of them are actually out there right now. And of course, if there's one living fossil of a shark, why wouldn't there be more? Number 14. The Hagfish Another reason that an ocean creature can be mysterious is that they have things that you'd suspect every creature has due to biological requirements, but it doesn't exactly line up with that. That's where the hagfish comes in, because they're the only known living animals that have a skull but no vertebral column. Although hagfish do have rudimentary vertebrae, it's just as puzzling that they don't have jaws, but they do have mouths, but they don't have jaws. So how does it even work? A classification of hagfish had been controversial for some time, further adding to their mystery, if you will. The issue was whether or not the hagfish was a degenerate type of vertebrate fish that through evolution had lost its vertebrae and was closely related to lampreys, or whether the hagfish represents a stage that precedes the evolution of the vertebral column, the alternative scheme, if you will. Now, the former was given the go-ahead. If you're ready to be creeped out by these creatures, then I've got your back, because hagfish are known to actually enter creatures that they want to snack on and literally eat them from the inside out. That's actually why they're known as opportunistic and willing to screw with anyone if it means that they get a meal out of it. For example, fishermen hate the hagfish because they'll actually eat and ruin a set of fish caught in nets before they can even bring them up. So they may be an odd fish, but they're not exactly a dumb one, and that's something to keep in mind if you go fishing out in those deep, dark waters. Number 13. Atlantic Wolffish Now I'm already liking this fish. Why? Because it's wolfish. <laughs> Oh, I'm loaded with them. Just about anything associated with wolves is cool in my book, and I'll die on that hill. But if you're actually curious about the fish itself, well, I can help you out. First of all, it's a fish that's been given a bunch of monikers over time, which includes devilfish, wolf eel, Atlantic catfish, sea wolf, ocean catfish, sea cat, or wolf. Wait, who names a fish wolf? That's just crazy. Be more creative, fishermen. Atlantic wolffish have a unique appearance and features that make it easily identifiable from other species of fish, not the least of which are a set of protruding teeth that are very visible to those who catch it. It also can grow to be up to six feet in length and 50 pounds, so a rather large fish that any fisherman would be happy to catch should they not be terrified of it, of course. However, this one also comes with a twist. Atlantic Wolffish are not aggressive. They feed on slow moving or sedentary prey, such as sea urchins, crabs, mollusks, and large snails. So while they may be named after wolves, they don't fully act like them. The problem facing this fish right now, though, is that as a species, they aren't the quickest to recover from danger. And as such, they've been listed as a special concern in regards to their population numbers. So hopefully, we can save them before they're all gone. Number 12. The Red-Lipped Batfish You're not likely to find a more oddly named fish on this list. I mean, seriously, what even is it? A bizarre creature endemic to the Galapagos, the red-lipped batfish walks instead of swims and looks as though it's ready for a night out on the town. 
though I will definitely not be partying with them because they just look too weird. As the name would suggest, the batfish has bright, almost fluorescent red lips, looking as though it's recently eaten a bloody meal or is wearing some very bright lipstick. Hence our night on the town joke, if you didn't get it. I mean, come on, people. But easily the most mysterious and odd thing about this creature, and yes, the lips are odd, is that the batfish literally walks underwater via its fins instead of swimming. It's true, this is a fish who prefers to walk on the ocean floor rather than just swim around like every other fish. What's more, it's very adept in how it uses its legs. For example, it doesn't just walk with them, it will actually use its legs to perch itself upon various items so that it can get a better view of the surroundings it finds. That's a very clever fish, and one that definitely uses its strange quirks to its advantage. But wait, what's the advantage of those lips? Who knows? Maybe that's a mystery that'll be solved in time. Or maybe it just wants to look its best as it saunters around the ocean. The world may never know. Number 11. The Kraken. Yes, it's all coming together now because I teased the legendary Kraken before when I talked about the giant squid, but now we'll actually dive into the Kraken itself. The Kraken is one of the most mythological creatures that are believed to have been real, or may even possibly be real. And I mean, I'm in that whole dragons are totally real camp, by the way. There have also been all sorts of stories about them, not the least of which are countless tales by sailors who claim that the Kraken attacked their vessels with massive tentacles and were able to literally sink the ships on their own. It's said that the Norse people were the ones who came up with the legend, which makes sense, as they were a seafaring race of people, and thus tales on the high seas were likely very common. Then as time would go on, more and more people began to believe in the Kraken and what it was or what it could be, to the extent that it became a key part of our culture and pop culture for that matter. It was a monster used in Pirates of the Caribbean by Davy Jones, the sailor, not the monkey. It's the name of an alcoholic brand, and it's now the name of an NHL hockey team. Go Seattle! And yes, people think that the Kraken does exist out there today, and that there have been sightings of it from all over, even getting an uproar because of a Google Earth image that believed to show the Kraken in the water. Unfortunately, it wasn't, but even still, it was pretty cool. Until it's definitively proven to not be real, people are likely to just keep on believing in it in the end. Number 10. The Goblin Shark now here's a name to strike terror into the hearts of people, because a shark on its own is scary, but when you jam the name Goblin in front of it, it suddenly is a recipe for a nightmare. And yes, the Goblin Shark is a very terrifying shark to behold, and thankfully for very basic reasons. It has a long prominent snout covered with special sensing organs that helps it to sense electric fields in the deep dark water that it calls home. So, it can actually sense you just by your electric feel. It's creepy, but it does get worse. The goblin shark's actually able to extend its mouth out to the point that it can reach where its snout is. And that's not how mouths are supposed to work. The reason that it does this is so that it can ambush prey and get the drop on them before they even realize they're in serious danger. As if all that wasn't enough, these sharks can be large, over 12 feet in length, and they can weigh over 400 pounds. So yeah, it's not really a shark that you want to meet in any part of the ocean, especially if you don't know what's nearby. Number 9. Helitrophes Masai Jellyfish how about some somewhat recent history that showed we still don't know everything about the ocean? In the latter half of 2017, Blue Planet 2 brought unusual sea life to the forefront of water cooler chats around the world, and one of the things that it showcased was a very special firework jellyfish, specifically the Helitrophes Masai jellyfish. What makes this one so mysterious from all others is that would be twofold. First and foremost, the Helitrophes is a 
creature that prefers to travel in obscurity so that no one notices it, especially predators. And its body helps it to blend into the world that's around it as a result. But as shown in Blue Planet 2, when light hits it, in this case the light of a ship, the body of the jellyfish lights up as though it was a fireworks display. That's a pretty cool thing, and many people are wondering just what else that this very cool jellyfish can do, as well as whether or not other jellyfish out there are like this one. Number 8. Dotted Nudibranch the dotted nudibranch is a shellless mollusk. The entire body is covered with tiny white bristles on the skin, which gives the animal a fuzzy appearance. Not something you'd expect to be in the ocean, or a mollusk, but there it is. It also has feather-like gills, which again are something you wouldn't expect from a mollusk, and yet we're still not done with it, all of its weirdness. This animal lays its eggs in a gelatinous spiral known as an egg ribbon containing thousands of tiny eggs. It may actually lay a number of egg ribbons during breeding season. That's certainly a choice, and granted, this isn't the only animal that lays eggs in a unique way, but a spiral? Well, sometimes basic isn't a bad thing there, nude branch. I, I mean, uh, nude branch. Number seven, the Northern Stargazer. The Northern Stargazer is another term for Canadians, specifically ones who go out into the Yukon wilderness in order to get a good look at the Aurora Borealis. And, well, I'm talking about fish here, so I'll get back to my notes. What I do know about this fish is that I really wish that I didn't know about it, because it's really ugly. Just look at the thing. Who thought that it was a good idea to make this one? The true northern stargazer is an absolute mystery, not just because of its looks, but where you can find it, and no, I don't mean the ocean. because it doesn't live that deep in the waters of the world, only about 120 feet below sea level. Rather, the mysterious part here is that you can very often find the northern stargazer on the shores of certain beaches, specifically between the states of North Carolina and New York. Apparently, it really likes those coastlines for some reason. Now, if I saw one on the coastline, I'd well leave it alone, not the least of which is that just by touching it, you could face an electric shock. Number 6. Triggerfish Now believe it or not, the triggerfish isn't just one fish, it's actually a pretty large species of fish. The 40 species of triggerfish are scattered throughout the world seas and are familiar to divers and aquarium aficionados. Easily the most unique thing about them though is how that they can go about getting food. You see, they're bottom dwellers to the extent that they'll actually dig food out of the ground thereupon in various ways. Sometimes they'll use their fins to just fan things away, which is clever, and other times they'll actually squirt water out of their mouths like a sandblaster to make it all go away. You have to admit that's a pretty cool thing, and it just shows how much power and pressure that their mouths have that they can do that while surrounded by water. Hence why they're called the trigger fish. These fish wreak such havoc on less fortunate reef dwellers that smaller fish often follow them to feast on their leftovers. Number 5. Clown Frogfish now I'm going to place this fish under the who thought that was a good name category because come on, it's just odd. I mean, clownfish is one thing, but a clown frogfish? You can do better than that, scientists. Thankfully, the more unique elements of this fish are not actually attached to its name. Well, this time. The skin of the clown frogfish is covered with numerous small wart-like protuberances, which obviously doesn't make it a favorite guest at fish parties, but its huge progressive face allows it to devour its prey without much issue. Its color is extremely variable because it matches its living environment, giving it a kind of camouflage. That makes this fish very adaptable, even if it's not exactly the best thing on the eyes. Maybe the name was a bit accurate after all. Number 4. Blob Sculpin Oh, you thought the last fish was ugly? Well, wait until you meet the Blob Sculpin. 
The Blob Sculpin won the World's Ugliest Animal Award, which was bestowed to raise awareness regarding the vulnerability of the fish, so that's a good thing that it won, right? I mean, I think I'm getting mixed messages here, I'm not really sure. The reason you probably haven't heard of this fish before is simple. It's one of many deep water fish, and it's so deep that you wouldn't see it without help. In fact, it's so deep in the water that its body is gelatinous in nature, so that it can handle all the incredible pressures that those depths have. Now, if you raise them near the surface, their bodies will collapse and give them a look of a weird-looking blob with a nose. The twist here, they're actually ambush predators and are quite good at it. They wait for prey to come and then eat them with their big old mouths. Number 3. Sea Pens Have you ever wanted to draw underwater? Do regular pens refuse to work under the sea as you're making songs with crustaceans? Then allow me to show you sea pens. I'm, well, I'm kidding, kind of. Yes, there are creatures known as sea pens, but no, they aren't actual pens. They're actually a kind of coral creature. Like their relatives, sea pens are made up of colonies of several polyps. What makes them unique among colonial corals, though, is that each polyp is specialized to perform specific functions. One of their polyps develops into a rigid, erect stalk, which anchors the rest of the colony to the ocean floor. This gives many sea pens an appearance that's similar to a large feather or old-fashioned quill pen, which is how they got their name. Though others are known to resemble feathers more than quills. Still though, it is a pretty cool adaptation and proof that coral is more than you think it is. Number 2. Pink See-Through Fantasia Oh, how can I make a Disney Fantasia joke here? Oh, that's right, you don't want me to. Well, that's fine. This one is a genus of deep sea cucumber. It's monotypic, being represented by a single species. Due to its unique appearance, though, the species has been dubbed the Headless Chicken Fish, Headless Chicken Monster, and Spanish Dancer which I find offensive, because Spanish dancers are awesome and not at all weird. What is weird, though, is that the sea cucumber's transparent in part, and you can actually see its intestines. Ew, gross, especially when it's done eating. Not something to view before eating something yourself, obviously. Number 1. Sea Angels Guess what kind of animal a sea angel is? No, it's not a fish. No, it's not a starfish. No, it's definitely not a shark or a squid or a kind of coral. Rather, it's a snail, one with a really cool adaptation that separates it from all others. The muscular foot found in land snails has evolved into a pair of wing-like structures called parapodia that are used for swimming in open water, hence sea angels. It should also be noted that this snail doesn't have a shell and it has a very gelatinous body. Oh, but while they may be called angels, they're actually devils when it comes to eating, to the extent that they have tentacles that they'll use to grab prey that come out of their head. And then because of their bodies, they use hook-like appendages, which is also gross, that they use to literally force the prey into its gut. Tell me again why they're called angels? That's all from the depths of the ocean and the creatures within. Which of these mysterious ones really piqued your interest in terms of what they're really like? And do you think that there are even more sea creatures out there that we have yet to truly discover? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.